America, land of the free and home of the smartphone. Nearly 250 million of them. In 2010, that number was almost five times lower. We must be calling each other like crazy, Gavin, nonstop. Not really. The younger the smartphone user, the less likely there's much calling going on at all. One study of millennials sums it up this way. Being in front of a screen since they were born can attribute to people not having the ability to connect effortlessly with others. This particular phenomenon has a name, telephonophobia, and it's essentially defined by a mental anxiety of interacting with others on the phone. How common is this? 81% of respondents said they feel they have to summon the courage to take a phone call. Gets more layered than that. The top reason millennials don't like talking on the phone, it's too time consuming. So what is the druthers of the so-called generation mute? Texting an email, especially texting. It cuts out all the small talk. You know, it sure is hot today. Uh, enough with the rain, huh? You know? And just allows people to get right to the point. There are some downsides. One is the workplace. Employers are realizing they often have to train young people on basics, like how they have to answer and talk on the phone. <laughs> some generational highlights also worth noting here. Gen Z. A majority of Gen Zers prefer to communicate online more often than in person when at home. And growing up with fast internet makes them expect responses quickly. But when at work, research by HR firm Rise shows they prefer face-to-face -face communication. Millennials. A survey by management consulting firm Corn Ferry found millennials often avoid face-to-face -face interactions and prefer to use online messaging or email to communicate with their bosses and coworkers. Generation X. A study from systems integration firm NTT Data showed Gen X prefers email at work and at home. Finally, baby boomers. They show a mixed pattern here. Digital messaging company Glip reported the best way to communicate with boomers is through face-to-face -face conversations. But many also use online communication. A survey presented at the America's Conference of Information Systems found 93% of baby boomers use email every single day. In total, what does all of this really mean? Sometimes typing is the best way to communicate. Sometimes talking is better. The trick is knowing what's going to get your point across and who are you trying to reach?